On July 1st, we Canadians celebrate 150 years of Confederation. This is a historic occasion. Not only, however, because of the date, but because of the immense spiritual and moral battle that's being waged right now, not only in Canada, but for Canada. Before our very eyes, the foundation upon which this country was built is aggressively and systematically being attacked, overthrown, and destroyed. That foundation is clearly declared in our national motto, Ad Mare Usque Ad Mare, from sea to sea. This isn't a mere geographical reference, but it's a direct quote from Psalm 72, verse 8. He shall have dominion from sea to sea. And you know, there's never been any doubt or ambiguity about who the he refers to. No one other than Jesus Christ, the Lord and King of all creation. Our Confederation Fathers, in choosing this motto, were deliberately placing the dominion of Canada under the dominion of Jesus Christ. Sadly, over the past 150 years, many of our fellow Canadians have drifted away from this foundation and grown indifferent to Christ's dominion over us as a nation. In the ensuing moral and spiritual vacuum, a very small minority with a very big agenda have begun to refashion, primarily through education and legislation, the moral fabric of our country. This July 1st, we who strive to live under the dominion of Jesus Christ have an opportunity to participate in a major campaign of spiritual warfare to re-establish Christ's dominion over our nation, to unite and stand with our bishops who will be re-consecrating Canada to Jesus through the powerful intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Let's not miss this opportunity to open a window of grace, not only for ourselves, but for the entire country. Embracing this consecration with faith and commitment is, in effect, a simple but concrete response to the age-old remedy first revealed by God to King Solomon thousands of years ago. If my people, who are called by my name, humble themselves and pray, and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and forgive their sin, and heal their land. Eternal Father, we, a nation called by your name, humble ourselves and seek your face, pleading for you to pour out upon us the grace of repentance and conversion, that we may turn from our wicked ways. Hear our prayer, O Lord of mercy, forgive our sin, and heal our beloved land, Canada. Amen.